This morning in Legal Logic, we are digging more into the college admission scandal that has everyone talking. So welcome back, Brian Cuna. Hey, Hello. How are you? I can't wait to, to pick your brain <laughs> okay, on this. Okay, go ahead. Right out of the gate, I thought maybe the topic at hand wasn't so shocking that celebrities would be paying money to, you know, get their kids into a college, but it was the celebrities that were deciding to do that that, at least to me, was most shocking. Was it the case right. for you? I mean, were you shocked by uh, celebrities maybe kind of using their power? Uh, yes. Um, it, it isn't surprising that, that wealthy people pay to get their kids into college. It's right. always been the back door. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you give a building and your kid gets into college. You right. give it's a not million. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. <laughs> so the usual way is the front door. You know, you work uh -huh. hard, you get good grades, and you get in the front door. But there's always been the back door, which is legal. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's, it's kind of ironic, actually, the, the attorney general in, in, in Boston said, well, this isn't like someone gave a a building or gave a donation to school, this is a bribe. And I thought to myself, it's kind of ironic, you know, you get your kid in, if you give money to school, but if you pay off uh, 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 a school administrator right. or a tennis coach or something, give them half a million dollars, um, that's illegal. But it is illegal, mm -hmm. and, and, it, and they were bribes, and, and that is not right. So what is going to happen to these celebrities yeah. that, that have, you know, made those payments? Right. Well, they got, I mean, they, it's felonies. I mean, you know, it's, it's called wire fraud, yeah. and, you know, it's over, over, over state lines. And um, they're out on a million, I mean, the, the major ones are out on a million dollars bail. Um, will they go to jail? I don't think so. But they are okay. going to pay big, big fines. Yeah. Um, and and um, they may, they may, but I, my sense is no. Uh, the and there, are their kids going to suffer, well, I that's, assume, too? That's, I think that's, mm -hmm. those are the unanswered questions. They say right. this goes back to, what, 2011, which is eight years ago. Mm -hmm. So presumably a lot of these kids... They say it could be as many as 800 kids that they were involved in this. Degree. Yeah, they've yeah. all got degrees. So what's going to happen to their degrees? Mm -hmm. um, if they have licenses in certain professions, is, is that going to be affected down the road? Right. My sense is probably not, unless they could find out that somehow the kids knew about what was going on. Mm -hmm. Although it's hard to figure that some kid that takes an SAT and guesses at half the answers and gets a really high yeah. score. Wow, hmm, my luck a, is good. I'll yeah, play the lottery. <laughs> I, did they actually know? They say they didn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know the answer to that. But so yes. when we're talking about different people at fault, you know, the parents and the students, but what about the colleges themselves? Are yeah. they going to get a slap on the wrist? Yeah, uh, they, they are really reviewing this whole college entrance process how mm -hmm. how do colleges you know we, they, we've they've got the legacy system yeah. which if your dad went to BU or Yale or Harvard mm -hmm. you got a 20 or 30 percent chance of getting in there as opposed to a 5 percent chance right. of getting in there and then of course there's the gifts to the colleges then of course there's there's um, Uncle Joe who's on the board of directors mm -hmm. so they're looking at the whole process, whole not only there. the SATs and not only the ACTs, I guess is what it's called now, mm -hmm. in terms of w what's the best way for kids to, for them to make a determination as to which kids get in. And the, the, of course, the athletic scholarships. Yeah, that's I mean, a that, huge, was, that was a huge thing. one. That was a big part of it. Yeah, It'll I was be thinking about the, yeah, I think about that actress. If she just given the $500,000 to UCLA, she could have gotten the kids in without having the thing say they're tennis Yeah, players. pretend that they're anyway. rowers or whatever it is. Brian, yeah, it thank is. you so okay, much. I, I'm not sure. I, I know. Yeah. It's like they open up a big can of worms. Yeah, it's it, gonna this one's going to take a while. It will be interesting. If you want more legal logic, go to roadshow.com.